This conference will now be recorded. All right, I think we're live. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. This is going to be a short overview of what the accelerated exam preparation looks like and what to expect from your one week of concentrated, dedicated study. So uh, the purpose is to kind of introduce you to supplemental information in addition to the CEH or EC Council official materials going to expedite the certification process. So I'm going to probably answer most of your questions through the course of lecture. If you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the chat window. I'll be addressing questions as we wrap up today and uh, providing contact information if you need any further clarifications on the process. So let me uh, do a quick introduction. My name is Eric Reed. I've been a hacker since I was 13 years old. I've been an ethical hacker since I was 35 years old. And I've been teaching CEH for 18 years. I've trained thousands of students over the years and almost invariably they pass on the first attempt with very few exceptions. Those are our live boot camp types of statistics. I use a customized exam preparation approach and if you follow my recommendations you're more likely than not going to pass the exam on the first attempt like I said with very few exceptions. Um, my certifications I'm not going to worry about listing out the alphabet soup here. But again, I've been a CEH since version four of the course, and I've been teaching it since then as well. My contact information is provided on the slide, also provided at the end of the presentation. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it. The CEH course is a huge volume of really useful information, which is great from a value perspective and a little bit intimidating from an exam preparation perspective. The course is 1,641 slides, 3,424 pages of courseware, 1,799 pages of lab manual. Your expected lab duration is a little over 32 hours and everything in the course is fair game for the exam. So that makes you think, well, what do I need to study to pass this test if everything is contained within the two bookends of the courseware? The answer to that is a directed focused exam preparation approach and that's where I come in. All right, a little bit on the multiple choice exam. There's actually two CEH exams, the practical and the multiple choice. When you pass the multiple choice, you become a CEH. It's 125 questions. You get four hours to take it. You're gonna take it online through the ECC exam portal. The passing score is a range from 69 to 84%. It's dependent on the exam form that is downloaded for your particular exam and the perceived difficulty of the questions themselves. I just prepare my students with a passing metric of 90% or higher, and there's no questions on whether they're gonna pass or not. When you pass your MCQ, you become a CEH. The CH practical exam is a hands-on challenge-based scenario with 20 practical challenges. These are directives, capture the flag types of scenarios, where you need to complete certain lab exercises to arrive at the flag. Uh, so you're gonna use the labs that you practice in the course to solve the challenges. The duration of that exam is six hours, passing score is 70% or a 14 out of 20. The preparation period for the practical is the same as for the multiple choice. And we almost invariably have 100% pass rates on the practical, it's a little bit more challenging, so sometimes there may be a itch issue glitch here and there where the student does a retake and they almost invariably pass in the second attempt. But my big mantra is pass in the first attempt, and if you follow my instructions, you are incredibly likely to pass in the first attempt. With the multiple choice, I would say 100% if we're allowed to say that, but there's an exception along the way here and there, but it's very infrequent. All right, so that you're going to schedule and you're going to take on a Sunday like the multiple choice and you're going to carve out six hours to do it. What is accelerated exam preparation coaching? All right, the accelerated format is a very concise, time efficient, one week of preparation, one on one coaching process. This is done on your time and on your schedule, but I do need two to three hours a day out of you, most likely in the evenings, to complete the process properly. There will be one-on-one -on -one email correspondence, any questions will be addressed, but you don't have to sit in a structured session. So it gives you some flexibility, but it is individualized. There are measuring stick exams that you're gonna take towards the end of the week. 
If you're hitting 90 percentiles on those, you're gonna pass the exam. You will be prepared to pass in seven days if you follow this structured approach and you put in the hours of study. As I said earlier, my pass rate is almost always 100% with very few exceptions. If for whatever reason, you're not able to put in the time, your measuring stick scores will reflect that and will recommend that you postpone your exam until you've had the time to put in the study hours. The cost is 149 per exam or 249 for both the CEH, MCQ and practical exams. It's also available for CND and CHFI currently. We're going to be adding more EC Council titles uh, to the list as well. Satisfaction is guaranteed. If for whatever reason you are not satisfied, don't pass, I will happily refund the money. It never happens. Follow my instructions. You're going to do just great. If you want a little bit of testimonial evidence of that, just search LinkedIn for Eric Reed CEH, and you'll see dozens of I passed my exam on the first attempt testimonials. All right, so the 149 per exam or 249, this can actually be routed through your training advisor. So I'll provide you with details on how to register here at the end of the presentation. All right, accelerated exam preparation coaching is not a substitute for EC Council authorized training. I don't prepare students to take the exam unless they've had the proper training behind it as a prerequisite. So if you've taken my self-study video courses, or if you've taken live courses through another accredited training center, I'll be happy to coach you through the exam. If you're trying to just take the exam, I'm sorry, that option is not available. It's also not unauthorized exam dumps. These are a violation of EC Council's Code of Ethics. If you're found to be using unauthorized official questions that have been extracted and distributed in various locations on the internet, you can actually lose your certification. On top of that, some of these practice tests are horribly inaccurate, horribly outdated and wrong, flat out wrong answers. It always makes me chuckle when somebody says, hey, can you take a look at this? And it's an unauthorized question bank from somewhere. And the arguments they make for why the wrong answer is the right answer. Ugh. So this is all taken directly from the courseware. I've got practice questions that will gauge your knowledge of the slide deck, but these are not unauthorized exam dumps. Now, EC Council does include their Cyber Quotient product, which is a more uh, unabridged preparation. It's often included with the courseware. That will give you an idea of what the questions look like. It'll give you a good representation of how questions map to the blueprint. And it's a great way to go back through the course and sort of reinforce the learning from each chapter. But I've always preferred to use my own custom exam prep. I'm obsessive about my pass rates, almost a little bit nuts about it. And I don't like to leave anything to chance. So I always make sure I've got really good materials. If my students follow it, they're gonna pass. I have students testing every week. I hear all the success stories on Sunday, which makes it my favorite day of the week. And I know if something's wrong. I know if something's been modified. I know if students are seeing things they've never expected before. It's usually spot on, great reference, five to 10 questions that may be unfamiliar to you, but that's to be expected. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. It's a lot of repetition. You will work hard for your certification, but it will pay off. And it's really a customized slide deck with very concise definitions, acronyms, tools, and so forth, the things you're likely to see on the exam. So you're gonna read it like flashcards repeatedly till it's etched in your brain. You're gonna take measuring sticks, which will ask you questions about the flashcards, and you're gonna realize you know all this stuff, and that's gonna be a good representation of what the exam's gonna look like. So again, the multiple choice questions are available for CND, CHFI, and CEH. The practical is available for CH practical. Now, the practical is a little bit different. That's a list of specific labs that you're gonna practice repeatedly. I've got measuring stick scenarios, which will give you challenges based on the labs. And you're gonna solve the captures or the challenges in your lab environment, the sim similar to or the same way you would in the exam environment. So at the end of the day, you're gonna log into an environment much like your iLabs or CyberCube, and you're gonna perform the challenges with just your Parrot machine and just your Windows 11 machine. So all the other machines you have available during the labs are not available, that's the purpose, you do everything from your attacker machines. But again, if you know your labs, you're gonna be able to recognize the challenges, know which challenges map to which labs, and then follow the lab instructions to complete the challenge. 
That one's actually an open book exam, which means it's a little bit easier since you don't have to memorize all the command line syntax for the various tools. So like I said, we do 100% pass rates pretty much every time for both the MCQ and the practical. Every so often things change up a bit. There's a bit of an adjustment period. We're currently working through that with the practical right now, but my first revamped uh, exam prep, I just had my first student test on Tuesday. Aces, did great. All right, the approach, this is exactly how it works. You'll take official EC Council, CEH, or other course catalog training, sign up for the accelerated exam prep coaching, which can be directly through me, but preferably through your training advisor. If you're attending this webinar as an EC Council student, you're gonna start on a Monday. Actually, you start late Sunday night. About 9.30, I sit down to finalize the exam prep on Sunday evenings. I send out the shares, so you actually get a bit of a head start. You're gonna schedule your exam for the following Sunday, which gives you seven full days of preparation. You're gonna study two to three hours per day. You're gonna pass your measuring sticks, 20 question quizzes on Friday and Saturday. If you pass those, you're gonna pass the real thing. You're gonna pass the exam and certification achieved on Sunday. If for whatever reason you're unable to put in the time, let me know, we'll just push it out a week, no problem. But I wanna make sure you are properly prepared when you sit down to take that exam. I do not like my students having to take retakes under any circumstances, so let's just plan on you passing on the first attempt. All right, so to get started, either email your training advisor or email me if you have any further questions. My email is eric at ericreadlive.com. Uh, my website is ericreadlive.com. You can use the contact us form or just email me directly, but if you're attending this at the advice of your training advisor, just contact them They'll go ahead and get you registered. The registration is completed, and then whatever week you pick to schedule the exam, we'll work on that one-on-one. -on -one. So to get started, email me, email your training advisor, and we'll get you rolling, get you passing on the first attempt. 